she saw G there's an opening. She saw the opening, which I often I see in the opening in the in the, in the, in the third heaven. And through that opening is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's a huge impartation for what I got from her. Because why? That's why the enemy cannot get past her. The blood of Jesus. Jesus spoke to her. And then she saw the enemy. Jesus covered the face. She couldn't see the face of the enemy. Very huge, dark creature. There was a there was like a, a, a staircase, narrow staircase that goes down. And all she could see was the belly of this creature, black. And on the south side, she said she saw chariots and horses. And people were taken up. Amazing, right? She is so full of this book. I tell you, you know, everyone that had an encounter like that with God, they are glowing with the glory of God, glowing. And I tell her, sister, you're glowing. He's going to use you mightily. You need to speak the name of Jesus now. Stop. No more. Just continue to speak his name. Praise him. You had a miracle. Oh, here's the other miracle. Before she went in, they scanned her. Remember? They scanned from neck down first, right? Before they scanned top. And they saw this huge thing in the lung. Right after the visitation with Jesus, second scan showed zero. Amazing. Amazing. So here she is. I don't know if you have the video that we have, but she spoke to us. She thanked all of you for praying. Amazing. Amazing miracle. She said to me, brother, when I came here, like many immigrants, I was complaining like crazy. Why did God bring me here? Why this place is so, you know, not so good? I had such a great career, da da da, whatever, and the children were complaining. You know, today I know why God sent me. His timing is perfect. She sent here. She did not just have one surgeon, she had multiple surgeons surrounding her. Amazing. We don't understand. And then appointment the next day. And then she's healed. And now she's actually at GF Strong Rehab. And then given her all the best pathology, uh, what do you call it, speech. Nothing wrong. She was, she was like, you guys want drinks? You guys you have to go oh, sit down, sister. <laughs> so judge her. And speaking with fire. Why? No more worries. No more worries. That's how we can enjoy His glory. And move from glory to glory. Just praising Him. The worst thing could come. Praise Him and watch His glory. Troubles are like buildings. You know? The higher and bigger they are, the deeper they are. You, you wait. You wait to see the glory of God when you just praise Him. When you have challenges in your life, Stop blaming. There's no power in blaming. Look to Jesus and bless him. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord. Remember that song? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord all the time. Bless him. Bless him. Praise his name. Bless him. Amen. I believe that when Jesus turned water into wine, He's still doing that in our lives. 
is about to turn all your challenges into blessings, you know. So I declare this acceleration on your faith. Let me just go into prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your revelation. Father, thank you that we can come here and just bless you. Just bless you. With all our heart, our mind and body. We thank you in every situation. We see goodness in everything. Even when the enemy tries and says that you're hungry, turn this stone into bread. Oh, you don't have enough glory. I can give you all this kingdom. I can give you all these best jobs, best everything. If you so bow down and worship me. Father, we say no to you. We say yes to you. You alone are God. You have our best interest in your heart. So Father, I thank you that even as today, even as I was praying to you, you said there's going to be an acceleration. The people that you brought here today, there will be an acceleration. That you're going to turn water into wine. These challenges in their life will turn into blessings. So, Father, we just thank you for that. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.